Hello, what is going on guys? Hockey Guy one here. Welcome to my review of Up. So Up is directed by Pete Docter and stars Ed Asner, Christopher Plummer, Jordan Nagy, and Bob Peterson. The story is about Carl who puts balloons on his house so he can go and conquest the paradise flows and move his house house to it. It's just like he promised Ellie even after her death. So the story I think is done very well. I mean and this whole quest thing, the Paradise Falls, is, is pretty good for what it is. And this whole story of the film is is done pretty well, and it's very and it's pretty complex. That it's kind of different if you if you look at the other Pixar movies, which which is pretty it's pretty impressive if you think about it, because I think it's done very well. And how well this is done with how you the Paradise Falls and and very clear the story is. is I think it's perfect with the way it was written. The first 10 minutes of this film is just very well well done. Uh, I mean, it's it's very sad and, and it shows enough enough of the past of, of Ellie and Carl to make you feel sad for them when, when Ellie dies because it's like a whole montage and all of a sudden it shows her dying and and it's just really sad to, to think about it that uh, way. Cause it, you're gonna have a whole life and go to Paradise Falls, either, but then that happens. And it's just really sad. And it's rare for a movie to like develop a character so much in just ten minutes to to the point where you can actually feel for the death and and it actually works for a sad moment. I mean, the structure of the plot is just done pretty well. Well, I mean, the first act is just is basically the montage of a minute and. You know, just in the second act, it's just basically his entire quest, and then the third act is pretty much, pretty much everything where he meets months, and I think that it's a pretty well done structure of the plot, as it, they all come together very well, and and it's just very well done for the structure, and very well written on how it's done. Carl is just a really good character. I mean, I mean his development is just really good. It as is he you do get at first how he's really mad man about uh, and things as he did lose his wife and he's just really cranky but then he develops throughout the movie to start loving things and I think it's done okay for what it's done I mean I mean and he can he you know, is kind of like one mistake that he made that made him feel sorry and I I think that's pretty good character development for him, and and a pretty decent character arc. Russell is a great character as well. I mean, he works he works very well with that comic relief side character who's with him. I mean, I mean, I guess he can be annoying at times, but but that's kind of the point. His character is supposed to be that way. Has <laughs> he just kind of like a scout? It's, and he develops very well and become the match as he does. Huh? Hope out Carl that and it's, it's a pretty good character for him and and how well his character's done as the side character. And the dog Doug does work very well as a comic relief character. I mean and he's got some funny lines up there to make him laugh. And yeah. and it just works perfectly as that kind of a role role for it as his character is just basically that that I mean I mean he's supposed to be funny and his character is the dog is very good, good because of that, because because you know it's just a comic relief character, and that's kind of the point of it is to, is to try to be funny and and he's pretty funny. Now the animation is just fantastic. I mean, I mean to be able to animate that many balloons and make them look really good is really creative and looks really great. I mean, and the way and they they make the the house move. Oops, so the animation this looks very fluent and and very well done on by the animators and I just find it really creative how they do this it doesn't have all the balloon and the animated on there I mean it's really creative how good this looks and it's very good and very creative by Pixar Paradise Falls looks really good and, and and you can tell that the animators put a lot of time and effort into this because and to making that because it looks really good in the end and it looks pretty fluent 
with the water moons and just the all the places around it, like the forest places, looks really good. And the little open land looks good. As well as like the city that Carl is, lives in and is being built around, his house looks really good I and mean, it looks like a major city and and is very well animated by it and very creative on Pixar's part. The character designs look great. I mean. I mean, like, the human designs look really good as Carl, they did, they make him look old very well, as he, and it's very well animated, and how old they made him look, as well as, as Russell's face looks really good, as well as months, and all the dogs that were made, and I do think, think that the, they look really good, as the fur on it looks very good, good and very fluent. And it definitely, you can tell they put a lot of time into that part of the animation, and it just looks really good. And the movements throughout the animation, I think it looks very fluent and good, good as it does look like they're moving, it doesn't really look like it's being animated. And then it looks very good, good, and, and I'm really great at how well it was done. And the score of this film is just fantastic, I mean, I mean, that song they played in the first 10 minutes just makes just makes the, the moment you feel even more sad because it just fits the moment so well and it just is, is very slow and sad music and works perfectly for a sad moment and it does make you even more sad than the moment does and it's just a perfect song to be used and the song that they use in the climax is basically just the same song just just a bit faster to make it more we're happy, which I think is pretty well done. I don't know how they put it in there, and, and really good. With that said, I do have a few negatives, and I just I think the third act was a little bit rushed. Well, I did say it does fit for the plot structure, but even with that, I do feel like the pacing of it was just a bit rushed, and it just wasn't the best. And as I do feel like they could have done a little bit better with it. And the, as the climax did feel a little bit rushed for how it is, is and the third act was the best. And I do feel like Charles Muntz is an awful villain, as he is just kind of that typical twist villain, as as he doesn't really have a motivation and is just really bland and poorly written as a, as that kind of a villain. Because in as a twist villain, I think I feel like they could have just written him much better and much more original. As he does feel like just a generic twist villain and just basically completely predictable on how how the twist went. So overall, I do feel like Up is slightly overrated, but still a good movie nonetheless. And I'm going to give Up an 8 out of 10. So that was my review of Up. What are your thoughts on Up? Tell me in the comments below, and I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.